Hey guys, Steve Welch here with your fact of the day. Have you ever seen a big orange ball in the sky? No, no, not 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 that one. Not that one. These or or this or these. They are everywhere if you look for them, but you might not have ever noticed them, right? So, what are they? How do they save lives? And, you know, what do they mean to you, right? So, they're 17 pound balls, right? They can be either orange or sometimes they're yellow. Um, they look like they have some kind of special connections in them or something to do with the power line or something like that, but they're hollow. They don't have anything really in them. So um, they are actually there to help pilots. So if you actually ever were able to see, and, and next time you're flying somewhere, look down and try to spot power lines. It is extremely difficult to see power lines from the sky. And in fact, they actually train pilots to look for the cutout where the power line would be, as opposed to trying to look for the actual power line. Um, obviously, it's easier to see a cutout through a woods than it is to see the power line. But um, why could that be important? And it could be important. So as a pilot, I can tell you guys that when you look at things from the air, they can look very different to you than what they look on the ground. So looking at a power line up from the ground, it will contrast with the color of the sky, things like that. They can even blend in sometimes with clouds and stuff along those lines. But when you look at them from the air, they blend into concrete. They, you know, it, it's something that sometimes you can't quite see. Communication lines, tension wires, um, those types of things. It can be hard to see those from the air. So why is it important? Well, it's actually extremely important. So um, when you're in the air, most of us always prepare for if something goes wrong. So um, we're always looking for if the engine quit right now, can I land over here? Can I land over here? Is there a field? Is there, you know, is, is there some spot that I can put this plane down if I have to put it down right now? How far am I from an airport? Those types of things. So um, that is always something that goes through a pilot's head. So we, we take in all of our surroundings, right? And there's four realistic places that you can land. The, the choice, the top choice would be an airport, right? But that's not always going to be possible. So if that's not possible to land there, then where else could you land? Well, you could land in a lake or a stream. Well, there have been very, very bad experiences of people that land in lakes or streams. Um, there's been some times that it's worked out, don't get me wrong, but there have been a whole lot of times that that has not worked or not worked out in the end, right? So what else could you do? Well, you could land in a field. Problem with the field is you tend to find other obstacles in a field. So you could have a divot in the field. You could have um, a, a, a fence that could be in the field, or well, you could have another obstacle that could pop up in the field. Um, but needless to say, landing in a field, it, it still has its own dangers, but it's much better, at least in my opinion, to land in a field than it is to land uh, in the water. So. You can't land in an airport. If you can't land on, you know, on the water because you're trying to find something else, you don't want to land in the field, what's your next best bet? The next best bet is to actually land on a roadway. Um, best thing about a roadway is you know that it's most likely going to handle the weight of the airplane. Um, there, it, you know, there's less likely to have any obstacles. It can be lit, right? So if you're, you know, looking at a, um, you know, a particular spot, then it could actually be lit as you're trying to go down to it, right? So um, you could have have a, uh, a better chance of actually surviving landing on the roadway than you would pretty much anywhere other than an airport, of course. So, um, so you know, if you, um, oh, and also if, uh, if something was to go wrong, usually when you land on the, uh, on the roadway, there's probably going to be somebody around that can call for help or you're probably, you know, you could be within cell phone signal, uh, hopefully of uh, being able to call yourself, of course. Um, but worst case scenario, it's nice to know that there could be somebody else around for you. So um, one of the reasons that you want to know, have those balls in there is that when you are in an emergency, 
A pilot can get tunnel vision and can actually fixate on the road. And you start to go, there's a road, there's a road, there's a road, and whatever you're aiming at, you can fixate on it. And what ends up happening is you miss the power lines and you hit the power lines. And, and they're not just on power lines. They could be on communications lines, like we said, or they could be on, um, you know, tension wires, things along those lines, right? So, um, one of the reasons that the balls are normally placed in places that, um, you know, where it crosses, and I'm going to show you a picture here, uh, it crosses over a road at a high level because the road's been cut through the, the rock or something like that, or um, these high tension power lines that might be over a plane where there's, you know, and when I say plane, I mean like a prairie, like, you know, where there's just no hills or anything to differentiate them, but they just kind of run off in the middle. You'll see those balls on those because they're trying to draw attention to those particular things right so um, it's just there is a lot of spots that you'll find them there's a lot of reasons for it but it is for pilots of planes and helicopters to keep them as visible as possible so if there is that emergency or somebody that just decides they want to fly low to get a good look at something or something along those lines those will stand out to that pilot so there it is your fact for the day. Hopefully we made you just a little bit smarter than what you were yesterday with our conversation here. Uh, definitely like, subscribe, and we will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.